Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the originality report to check for plagiarism. Um, so I have uploaded as a student a plagiarized uh, essay mostly. So we've created an assignment here under week four, uh, essay about your city. So if we click on that, you can see that no students have turned it in yet. Um, so let's see here. Let's go to the student view upload an essay, view assignment, and we're going to turn it in right now. All right, so it's now turned in. Let's refresh this page here and then it should show up. All right, so our student has now turned it in. Here it is. So we're going to click on turned in. Test user has turned in the Tokyo essay. And here we can see the essay. It's loading now. All right. And you can read the essay if you want. You can um, highlight areas and make comments like, you know, please revise or whatever you want um, to make comments. Um, but right over here, it says five flagged passages. And this is the originality report. So if you click on that, it will pop up the originality report and here it is and each of the highlighted areas like this highlighted area here right in the middle and at the end is copied from another source and you see it says five flagged passages that's each of these paragraphs you can also click on percentage and it'll tell you how much is plagiarized 75 percent here um, and then you can look at the web matches so where they got the information from um, so here's what the student wrote and then over here this is uh, the web match it's from this descriptive essay about Tokyo website so it's like a free essay website for students um, all right and then I think down here let's see this one is from Wikipedia uh, so it's pretty clear that most of this is plagiarized um, so you have a choice at this point um, depending on your university's policy, you know, you can give them a zero and return it. Um, if you do, I usually um, give them a chance to revise it. It's up to you. If you don't give them a grade, you can still return it and then add a comment like this is mostly plagiarized. Please um, revise, please cite your sources. Um, you know, you probably need to explain more than that. If a student plagiarizes 75%, it's more than a, just an issue of citing. Um, but in any case, you can send them a message. Um, you can say, uh, you have one more opportunity to fix this or whatever you need to tell them. Anyway, the messages will pop up in their um, inbox. And then I'm going to return it without a grade because I'm giving this student another chance. So I'll hit return and it says no grade. Okay, so I'll return it to the student um, just as it is. And then if I go back uh, to my uh, now here, it moves from turned in to assigned. So you can see that it's still assigned to the student. It's as if they never turned it in. Now the student will have to check their email here and they're going to find out Jacob Reed returned your essay and they'll, if they look carefully they'll see there's no grade and then they can also read my comment. This is mostly plagiarized, please revise, please cite your sources, etc, etc. You have one more opportunity. And so hopefully the student will then, you know, fix the problem and they can um, go back to the the assignment, you know, remove their old assignment and then upload, well, hopefully fix it and then upload a new one. So very quickly, that was how to use the plagiarism checker in uh, Google Classroom. It's known as the originality report. It's not perfect, but it does catch uh, a lot and uh, I hope it goes well for you.